Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. I'm excited to uh, share with you a passage that is a fairly uh, dense passage. And so we're actually going to, I want to read the whole thing for us, but we're going to unpack this over the next, uh, I think, five days. We're going to spend uh, looking at each verse of this. Uh, And I love this because it really explains who Jesus is. It's one of the the clearest, most dense explanations of the nature of Jesus, the one that we follow and love. And uh, the, the thing that we get to unpack today is what would it be like if we could see God? And I want you to ponder that. Have you ever wanted to see God? And I want you to hold on to that as we read this passage and unpack uh, the first verse of this. So Colossians chapter 1, starting in verse 15, it says this, says, He, that is Jesus, is the image of the invisible God and the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of the cross. I encourage you to just read that again today and let some of the truths of that soak in. But I want to focus on the, the first line. He is the image of the invisible God. We get the amazing news that Jesus came to earth to do uh, uh, several really significant things. He came to be the, 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 the salvation that we desire, that we need desperately from him. He came to be the example for what it means to live a life that honors God in a perfect way. But he also came so that we could see and know God. He came to visualize before us who God was. When we look at the life of Jesus, Jesus himself said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. We get to visualize Jesus or or visualize the nature of God through the life of Jesus. This is incredible news because if we're ever like, well, what's God like? What is his character? What is his nature? We get to look to the life of Jesus and read scripture and go, that's God. And so through the life of Jesus, we get to see God's love for his people. Through the life of Jesus, we get to see his heart for serving those in need. We get to see his heart for forgiveness through the life of Jesus. We get to see how he reconciles people to himself. We get to see God's heart for truth and God's heart toward us all through the life of Jesus. Now, would it be great if we could walk and eat and talk conversationally in person with the incarnate Jesus? Well, of course that would be. We can uh, have some, some maybe healthy envy for the disciples and for those in the first century that got to do this in person. But we can also really understand the, the character and nature of God through the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, reading and getting to know the life of Jesus. Because if we do that, we get to see the image of the invisible God through the life, the ministry, the teaching, the activities of Jesus. So let that be an encouragement to you, that that Jesus wasn't just another teacher. He is the image of the invisible God. He is so incredibly important, and we're going to unpack that through this passage. But one of the things that we get to just enjoy and uh, take hope and encouragement in is that he came so that we could get to know God. We could visualize, we can understand, we could have stories that help us connect to our creator and our savior, all because Jesus is the image of the invisible God. We'll see you tomorrow as we continue to unpack this passage.